How's it going here, future voters? It's Sean Gannon here, future president of the United States of America, and we got a beer review for you. We have the Hopsecutioner from uh, Terrapin Brewing Company in Athens, Georgia, again, finishing off my pack there, uh, the variety pack. Uh, I have one thing I would like to say about the logo. Uh, they <laughs> you have the executioner there chopping off the heads of hops. Pretty good logo right there. All right, let me pour it here, and then we'll go talk about it. Pour it in the wood glass. So what do we got here? Online, the hop, secu hop secutioner, killing them hops here. Uh, ABV, 7.3%, IBU, 60, original gravity, 16. Hmm. Indian pale ale is a type here. Light copper in color, looks like it. This IPA has an aroma of fresh pine and citrus, we'll see. A strong malt backbone provides balance to an assertive hop bitterness. The hops, Warrior, Chinook, Centennial, Simcoe, Amarillo, and Cascade. Malts are two row, crystal, 24 liter, and victory. And let's see. Now, my guess is here, they're trying to say this is a very hoppy beer, but I call it the hop, hop, uh, hop executioner. I can't really actually smell it. Interesting. Pretty low on the hop smelling right there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really smell much. But the taste is strong. Interesting. There are other beer I remember you could smell the hops, but you couldn't taste it really. And that was the cryosphere, I believe. But this one here, you don't really, I mean, you can kind of smell the hops. But the taste is definitely way stronger than uh, the smell is. A little bit. Not bad, not bad. I think it's a good variety of hops. It's a Fairly hoppy beer. So, I know this here. They call it a killer IPA. They're going on with the executioner kind of style here. But anyway, uh, they're right on the light and copper uh, in color. Or light copper in color. All right, am I going to get the fresh pine and citrus? Hmm. I'm not getting a little pine, a little of that fresh pine flavor. Citrus, maybe, maybe. Uh, I would say it would probably need a little more to claim it, but but it's a good hoppy beer. I like it. Um, it is very assertive, hot bitterness. That is an accurate description on the website. Very. Uh, assertive for the hotness there. But anyway, it's a pretty strong beer. Uh, it's weird. <clears throat> it doesn't feel as heavy as I thought it would be at a 7.2%, but I mean, it's a heavy beer. We're not talking about like a light beer here. So it, it does advertise there uh, and lines up well. But um, this is pretty good. It's a good hoppy beer. And I would say if you liked a solid IPA with a good amount of hops below a double IPA level, I would say this is a good beer for you. Uh, hit the right on the money. So I'm going to go give it a final score here. Um, it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. Um, it didn't blow me away as far as its flavor, uh, but it was between 3.75 and 4 which I think is still a pretty good score. So uh, 3.75 out of five for this beer. I'll just settle on that one, but it's between the two. Uh, and I will see you next time after I go finish this beer. So uh, I'll see you next time, guys. And this is Sean Gannon here, signing off.